my last sporting event I covered was on the 14th of March 2020. That's a long time. To say that in that time, that for any of us it's been really easy would be a lie. It's been a huge challenge for sports photographers while we watch the industry that we love slip away or be put on hold. As the global COVID-19 pandemic swept through the world and shut down everything in its wake, our thoughts turned away from work and sport and instead onto social distancing and keeping ourselves and our families safe. But here we are. Months on from the beginning of spring when we thought the world was shutting down in all directions, sport is generally still on hold. Here in the UK, as lockdown measures get eased, some sports, mainly individual sports, ones that can be social distanced like golf or tennis or fishing, are back, but they're only really back on a recreational level. In parts of Europe, football leagues like the Bundesliga are back on, but there's very, very strict medical protocols and procedures in place in order to keep everyone safe. On the whole, sport is on hold still months later but that is leading to some opportunities. As we move forward, photography and sports, whether that's individually on photo shoots or as organized professional sport comes back online, social distancing will be key. There is likely to be in the early weeks and months less photography allowed within professional sport as organizations, whether that's individual leagues or teams or whatever, try to limit the number of social interactions to keep everyone safe. This will begin probably with less work available for everyone. That's the unfortunate, sad reality of where we are. We just don't know currently when professional sport will get back to the point where we have media scrums of photographers fighting against each other to try and get the best picture. Maybe we'll never get back there. But for now, expect a lot of social distancing measures to be put in place. And regrettably, for some, that's going to mean less opportunities. I keep thinking about how travel is going to be impacted with all this. If you're anything like me, you'll travel a lot for your work, whether that's driving around the country or flying around the world. And while driving is becoming allowed more and more, international travel could be really impacted long term. One of my biggest concerns for the future is how we travel globally for sport. As it stands at the moment, if triathlon was to happen somewhere around the world in a foreign country and I was hired to go do that work, I'd be allowed to fly out, providing that I could show that I wasn't COVID positive. But then when I flew back, as the rules in the UK currently stand, I'd be quarantined for 14 days. We don't know whether I would need a medical certificate or an exemption to say that I was COVID-19 negative. We just don't know. Ultimately, there's a lot that could change with the sports that we love to shoot. A part of those travel restrictions will ultimately come from a lack of funds. Sport in general has suffered financially in 2020 due to the economic downturns across the world due to this global pandemic. We've seen budgets cut, and we've even seen budgets frozen or completely taken away as organizations try to limit the damage that COVID-19 is doing to them as a business. That's not to say that brands and sports don't have money for marketing or photography, but what it means is that the traditional ways that we would get to them as freelance photographers have changed. The key to surviving this is being able to pivot. To be able to take what you offer and spin it in such a way that you can keep working, albeit slightly differently. For example, now that exercising in lockdown has been relaxed, it's allowed me to get out and work with brands and athletes on a one-to-one -one basis by doing socially distanced photo shoots. This is a great way for me to keep working whilst building and developing personal relationships with athletes. They get some great images for their website or social media brand, and I get to work. Sure, it's not like shooting competitive sport in action, but until we get back to that point where that's allowed and we are able to do that, being able to pivot and work online or do photo shoots one-to-one -one or work with brands at home or in socially distanced locations is going to be key to allowing you to keep your hand in the business, so to speak. This is about playing a long game. Ultimately, we're still going to be doing this for a while. This sadly won't go away tomorrow, but there's now more opportunities to get back to some kind of work. It's easy to sit there and say that sport isn't happening, so you can't work or shoot. There's a wealth of opportunities that are starting to open up. Now is a really good time to strike, so to speak, while the iron is actually warming up. Mm -hmm.